Hi Church, my name is Darren and I am one of the pastors here at Audacious Church and it's a privilege for me today to bring you today's devotion. We're looking and continue to look at a series from Proverbs and wisdom from Proverbs and today we're looking at Proverbs 14 which is rich in wisdom about the choices we make and the consequences they bring. This chapter contrasts the way of wisdom with the path of foolishness, illustrating how our actions, words and decisions reflect our character and ultimately shape our lives. One of the most powerful verses in Proverbs 14 is verse 12. There is a way that appears to be right but in the end it leads to death. This is a sobering reminder that not every path that looks good or feels right is aligned with God's truth. In our world, we often encounter messages that promote self-reliance and instant gratification. Yet Proverbs urges us to lean into God's wisdom and seek his guidance. Even when the world's ways seem more appealing or convenient, what seems right in the moment can lead to brokenness, regret, or even spiritual death if it draws us away from God. The chapter also highlights the importance of integrity. Proverbs 14 verse 2 tells us, Whoever fears the Lord walks uprightly, but who those who despise him are devious in their ways. Living in the fear of the Lord means honouring God with our whole lives, walking with honesty, humility and righteousness. Our daily decisions reflect whether we live with reverence for God or follow the whims of our own desires. Verse 29 and 30 emphasize the need for patience and inner space. Whoever is patient has great understanding, but one who is quick-tempered displays folly. A heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. These verses remind us that our attitudes, patience, peace, or envy affect not only our relationships, but our well-being. As we meditate on Proverbs 14, let us seek the wisdom that leads to life. May we trust in God's guidance, walk in integrity, and cultivate hearts of peace that reflect his love in all we do. Love you, church, and uh, see you soon for the continuation of audacious devotions.